A circle is a set of all points equidistant from a fixed point called the center of the circle. Hello everyone, welcome to Fat Math TV. Uh, this time, let us have the terms related to circles. So this lesson is for grade 10. Okay, these are the terms related to circles. First, let us define a circle. A circle is a set of all points equidistant from a fixed point called the center of the circle. So this black uh, curve here is the circle. And the center is this. So all points on the circle here have the same distance from this point called the center of the circle. So the distance from this point to this is the same as the distant, uh, distance of this point to this point or this point to the center. And that distance is called the radius. So for the radius, we can have the line segment connecting the center and any point on the circle, or we can refer to uh, radius as the uh, length of this uh, line segment. So when we say radius, it can be the line segment or its length. And the diameter of the circle is uh, the line segment joining two points on the circle that is uh, passing through the center of the circle. So, if uh, you will look at it, uh, it's equal to uh, 2 times the radius. So this is uh, r, and this is another r. So the diameter is twice uh, as long as the radius. Chord. Chord is a point connecting two points on the circle. This is an example of a chord. This is one point here. This is another point on the circle. And this is the line segment connecting uh, the two points on the circle. And this diameter is also a chord, but this is the longest chord that you can make. So you can also uh, connect uh, any two points on the circle to make another chord. Let's say from here going here. So that's a line segment. Or from here going here or uh, like this. So a chord is... Uh, a line segment joining any two points on the circle. So if this uh, uh, line segment passes through the center, then it's the diameter and the distance or uh, its uh, length is twice the length of the radius. And a semicircle is half of the circle. So this is a semicircle, this yellow one here. And you can have uh, uh, other semicircles. Okay, next, minor arc. So a minor arc or arcs are part of a circle. When you say minor arc, it is a smaller than a semicircle. And a major arc is uh, bigger than a semicircle. So this is a minor arc. And uh, a semicircle is a half of the circle. And if it's more than half of the semicircle, then I mean, if it's more than the semicircle or bigger, and uh, then it is called a major arc. And a central angle is an angle whose uh, uh, sides are uh, radii of the circle and uh, the vertex is the center of the circle. So this is a an example of a central angle. And an inscribed angle is an angle whose uh, sides are chords of the circle. So chords of the circle. And uh, the vertex of uh, this uh, uh, in inscribed angle is on the circle. So the vertex is here. And for the central angle, the vertex is uh, the center of the circle. For the inscribed angle, the, the vertex is any point on the circle. Okay, let us have more terms. Tangent. 
to a circle. So a tangent is a line that touches the circle at only one point. So this point is called the point of tangency. So this line here, the red one, is tangent to a circle. And a secant to a circle is a line that uh, intersects the circle at exactly two points. So these are the two points on the circle that the line intersects. So this blue line here is called a secant of a circle. A sector of a circle is like a slice of a pizza in a whole uh, pie. So it's like this. So a sector has uh, an area and it's uh, a part of a circle. And a segment is also a part of a circle, but it's uh, um, uh, made by uh, a chord of the circle, this part here, and an arc of a circle. So this sector here is made up of uh, one radius, another radius, and an arc on the circle. But this uh, segment is uh, made of a chord and an arc. So these are the terms related to circles. So I hope that uh, you will understand uh, these uh, terms so that later on in, uh, if I will upload more videos on circles, you will also understand the concepts related to these uh, uh, terms. So that's it for now. I hope that uh, you learned. Bye!